this is when things get real in the Europa League. It is time for the final, and there can be only one winner. Who's it going to be? Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action for you live next. Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It's Manchester United up against Pauk. Well, what a night for these two clubs, Derek. Both will be desperate to win this trophy. You can just sense the tension out there, can't you? I've got a feeling this will be a great game. So we can check on the lineup today. Well, in this 4 5 1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. This is what they'll be facing today. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4 5 1. But for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supports in the front man and two sitting that little bit deeper as defensive cover. United might be able to cash in, but they dealt with the threat first. Kenziora. Now here's Johnny. Tomasz Kenziora. Not giving him a moment's peace. Ozdoev. Kirill Despodov. Mete. Kenziora. Well, it's pass after pass, keeping their opponents thinking. That's a good pass. Defensive resilience there. Anthony. Casemiro. Sofian Amrabat. Bruno Fernandes has it. More than decent this from United. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Despodov Thomas Moorg well that's how to keep the opposition at bay it is a decent looking attack here Fernandes the importance of that tackle cannot be overstated well you can tell what the fans think of that decision they're certain it should have been a penalty Samata given away by Manchester United good strength to keep the ball well sadly they just couldn't keep possession on to Juan Bissaka and they know they need to stop him a chance to whip it in. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Ozdoev. Zivkovic. Samata. Zivkovic. Teammate and support. Timely intervention. And so the first half has come to an end here at the San Mames. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides.
They're all doing their bit to keep them out. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? Anthony. And a very good challenge. Kirill Despodov. Bruno Fernandes has it. Hoylund. It's a fine United move in the making. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Samata might work out. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Anthony. Hoylund. Diogo Dallo. And it's with Amrabat. Sofian Amrabat. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, there it is. United had most of the ball. But unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game, which will be a major disappointment. Nice looking pass. Tyson. And into the last 20 minutes. And a strong tackle. Anthony. Ozdoev. Mete. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. It's a perfect challenge. Decent position. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Anthony. It's with McTominay. Manchester United on the front foot in the closing moments. Can they find a winner? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Tyson. Samata on the ball. Mete moving into the advanced position but it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it Sofian Amrabat Scott McTominay on to Juan Bissaka and the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute that is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up well back on the way here and it's quite simple both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes using his strength to shield the ball oh but they've lost it now Anthony Diogo Dallot on the ball he has time to play it over
Kenziora. Konstantinos Kouliarakis. Now here's Johnny. Tomas Kenziora. Kouliarakis. Zivkovic. He's using his strength to good effect. Manchester United recovering possession well. Sofian Amrabat and pressing from the front. Will he play it in? And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Of shielding under pressure. All even, but will it stay that way? Casemiro lost the ball. And holding it up nicely. Tyson. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. good run well nothing comes of it it looked promising Mount now breaking at pace potential danger and just one minute of stoppage time say the officials under pressure doesn't seem to be bothering him well that's the sign of a well -up. must take the lead here a smart stop here Manchester United know they've got to be precise with the corner given the circumstances. <laughs> Delivering it. Well, they weren't able to capitalise. It always had the potential, didn't it, to go to a penalty shootout in this Europa League final. And that is exactly what has transpired. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, this. And just like that, he's come up with the save. He scored in the bottom corner. Can he get the better of the keeper? Oh, a superb save. A Panenka penalty and a brilliant goal. Can he remain calm? He had to score and he does. Clinical as always in front of goal. So much on the line with regard to this penalty. And there it is, perfectly executed. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. And there it is. That brings it to a conclusion and a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game, but you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away.
And the party mood has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here.